what's been a bit of an ordeal for him. Ronnie O'Sullivan breaks off in the deciding frame of this gripping quarter final. John Higgins led 5 2. He looked the only winner at that point. He was the only player making breaks. He had sundry chances, but he's just sat out a century in the last frame from O'Sullivan. So now it is in the balance well and truly. It might be on up this pot into the left corner. <laughs> Phenomenal shot. What? Not just the pot, but the reaction he's got. Yeah, and early on in the match. He's just killed one frame off from his first chance. Can he now kill the match off from his first chance in the decider? Seven. Chances are he will, I think. Fourteen. Played the correct shots. And this is 15. his reward now, this chance to get it won. Again, the first time you feel the match is in his hands. Here too. As we said, there's every chance. He probably played his last shot. So. Thirty-one. Seven years. I know it wasn't played here for four years, but 2016, Michael Holt, the last winner over O'Sullivan in Shanghai. Circus seven. <clears throat> you get straight in the back. I think he might come off two cushions. Try and beat on the red at the bottom of the pack. Just be careful not to overrun it. Yeah, played it well. It's low on it. Be able to pot it. Glance off the red above it. 44. And then the two reds on the left hand side should be available into the opposite corner. 45. Yeah, if it's just one good cannon away from having the match at his mercy. He deemed that a good cannon. 52. 53. Eight. And this is a sensational finish, isn't it? First chance, five each. First chance, looks like six five. Yeah, we've seen him play better, but this has to go down as one of his best ever wins, considering the how the match it went. Just hung on in there. Six to five. Eventually, if you wait long enough, there's always that chance it can turn around. Well, this blue is match ball. What a finish from. The greatest player we've ever seen. John Higgins is going to be absolutely sick. It's going to be, it's going to feel like a very long journey home, I think, for him. 76. Yeah, brilliant break. Very well taken, of course, all brought about by the fantastic first ready play. 77. And we get another chapter in the O'Sullivan Selby psychodrama in the semis. 84. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a great reward for beating John Higgins from 5 2 down. Again, a 5 2 down, he'd taken that gladly. 84. In this mindset, this attitude, he's definitely in the right mental place to be able to go toe to toe with him. Set up fantastically. 98. Well, a grandstand finish. Hadn't made a half century all day. Made a century in the last frame. He's made one in the clinching frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan, as ever, doing it in style. 
I think of the faith. There's an old saying, if you're going to take a shot at the king, you'd better not miss. Ronnie O'Sullivan is still standing I in Shanghai. Eight. I got a 12. By any standards, this has been an impressive finish. Yes, he 17. struggled early on. That's all gone, though. He's still here. I got a 23. Glorious. <laughs> what a couple of frames he's put together here. Sensational finish from Ronnie O'Sullivan, back-to-back -back centuries of 100 and 130. He was deep in trouble, 5-2 down. John Higgins was a big, big favourite. He couldn't close it out. And Ronnie O'Sullivan, to the delight of his supporters here, has put himself into the semi-finals. Can he make it four titles in a row here? Next up for him, Mark Selby.